Hello and welcome back. I hope you've all had a great Christmas and a fantastic new year. Got everything you wanted and managed to spend a little time with family. And if you've been away, I hope you've had a fantastic time. Um, I was going to film this up at the caravan, but it's quite cold up there, so I've decided to film this back at home um, where it's nice and warm and I can have a brief. So this first video this year is about trackers. Now our caravan has a tracker inside it, um, but I don't subscribe to it. When we bought the caravan, um, the tracker had been in, uh, obviously it's a 2011 unicorn, and the tracker had been in about seven years, maybe more, eight years, and when I phoned up the tracker company, they told me that the tracker would need updating and it was going to cost me around £249 plus a subscription in order to get the tracker up and running. Um, so I decided not to do that. Now, uh, there are lots of manufacturers who fit trackers as standard these days. So in terms of the uh, manufacturer's tracking system, it's actually built into the caravan and then uh, you pay a subscription. I know that Swift Command is around about £95 uh, a year for that one. Now the advantages of having a tracker on the caravan is you get an insurance discount and it's usually around about 15 to 20% uh, in, uh, discount on that and you get various other discounts for any other locks or anything that you've got in your caravan. It's factory fitted so you don't have to mess about with it and it's an approved tracker. A lot of them are Thatcher approved trackers which is makes that insurance uh, a little bit cheaper and also you know you're getting reliability um, some of them actually directly call the police if it's moved uh, or if it's been stolen so they can do trackers straight away it's monitored 24 hours uh, some trackers don't monitor them 24 hours but uh, on some of the, the caravan uh, manufacturers they are monitored. Uh, it's pre-installed, you don't have to mess about with it. There's an app where you can track it, I know there's new Swift command there, you can look on your phone. And you can with the Baileys as well, you can look on your phone and it alerts you if the, the caravan's moved. On the face of it, the trackers look a good idea and, and for me they're just a peace of mind. You can just have a look, check where your caravan is and hopefully it's where you've left it. So uh, a tracker is it definitely gives you that insurance discounts but it is a peace of mind now the disadvantages for me of a manufacturer's one now the first one is as i said previously when we bought our new to us caravan the tracker um, needed updating and they told me that i would have to buy a new tracking system now another disadvantage that i personally feel is that the people that steal these caravans um, are stealing quite a lot of them and the manufacturers fit the trackers in exactly the same place in all the vans. So if you go to Swift, it's in the same place as all a certain Swift model. If you go to Bailey, the tracker's in the same place. So it's very easy for them to remove it because they know exactly where the tracking systems are. There was a caravan stolen uh, a few years ago from our storage and the tracker was just left on the floor where the caravan was because they knew exactly where it is. So I think that's one of the disadvantages in terms of, you know, they know exactly where it is it's possible weight I know the tracker in our caravan uh, I actually took it out to check the battery and I actually weighed it and it was about about 13 14 kilograms with the battery and all the the systems that's attached to it so it's quite heavy um, and obviously there's a siren on top of that so the cost of updating as well You've got to, um, like I said, you had to change mine and, it, you know, it was out of date. So that tracker was like seven, eight years old and they told me it was out of date and I couldn't use it. So that's a disadvantage. Also, if you're storing it as well, you need to make sure that you keep your caravan uh, battery topped up. Um, obviously because it's pulling power from that some have a battery backup system but it's pulling power from that if you've got a, a solar panel in your caravan then that's great it's probably just giving you enough power in order to power the tracker system up but um, yeah you've got to keep your battery on over the winter months so if you're like us you have an older caravan with a tracker that's not worth uh, repairing or kind of updating because it's not cost effective or you you have an older caravan is there a solution in terms of a tracker a tracker to give you a bit of peace of mind so the one I've got I got off my brother he had a motorbike which he got rid of and he had bought a tracker for that and he didn't want it anymore so he's given it to me and uh, this is what I've got. It's a uh, Dan tracker uh, made. This is supplied through Oxford and this is it. That's the tracker. The top half of it is the antenna 
and the bottom half of it is the battery. It's a complete sealed unit. It's waterproof and it has a, uh, a SIM inside there. So um, that's basically it. So I'm just gonna talk you through this, what the advantages and disadvantages are of this. I just like to say, I've not been contacted by Dan Tracker or anything like that. This is just because my brother's given it to me and I thought, I'll give that a go. So the advantages of this Dan Tracker is that it's small. You can see it's, it's tiny. Um, and you know, you can move that around. Now, I'm reading off my notes here. Um, it's got a lithium battery in there, which lasts 10 years. Okay, so you can put that away and leave it and it'll last you 10 years. But the another disadvantage is uh, going again, you've got to get a, another tracker. But anyway, I'll go through the costings of that in a second. So it's built in battery, it's waterproof. It's got an internal antenna that's at the top there. You can hide it. Now the best thing about this is, as I said before, with the, the manufacturer's fitted trackers, they're all in the same position. Whereas with this, you can hide it anywhere in your caravan, but you've got that option of, of putting it somewhere where it's really difficult to find. So there are three different settings with this tracker. And I'm just reading these off the instructions. Uh, the sleep mode where basically when it moves, it detects that it moves and once it's stationary after five minutes it gives a location and you can track that on a map so that's if you're moving all around a lot you know you could put it on that setting uh, and it just gives a last location there's a geofence mode so when the caravan is stationary you go onto the app or you can go onto the internet and it pinpoints where your caravan is and then you can draw a circle uh, uh, around where your caravan is and it's about 500 meters away from the center of the caravan and you can make that circle as big as you want or as small as you want i think five, about 500 meters is the smallest and what happens is when the tracker moves out of that area it will send a, a signal to you your phone or, and, and it'll alert you that the caravan has moved the final one is the uh, live mode and what that does is every five minutes uh, as long as this is moving it will give you a location of the uh, of the tracker so it can live track where you are now the downside to the geofence and the live mode is that it uses more battery um, this has got about nine years battery left on it because my brother only had it for a year so i've been using it in sleep mode so basically it tells me where the caravan is and if it moves once it's stationary again it'll just send me that signal i did have it for a short time in geofence mode but again that uses the more battery as i said so i don't want to don't want to use that so so briefly the advantages is that uh, the size it's very small you can hide it anywhere in the caravan another really good advantage with this is that if you say like you get a i'll go through the subscriptions in a bit if you get a five year uh subscription with this and you go in two years down the line and you think actually i want to change my caravan it's very easy all you do is just take it out put it into your new caravan you log on to your dan tracker website and you change the details of your caravan now this has our details of the caravan it has the the vin number uh, the Chris registered number as the details of the caravan the color of the caravan the make of the caravan so if you wanted to change this and put it into another vehicle all you do is just go back onto the internet change all the details and then it just registers it again to your caravan or your car or whatever you're going to put it in so I'll just go through the costings of it and whether it's it's worth it. It, it. it does, initially you've got to buy this, but if you're upgrading your tracker, then obviously you've got to buy a, a tracker, a manufacturer's tracker. So let's have a look at the costings of it. So this is the Dan Tracker website. It's a Danish company. Uh, we're gonna look at the products that they've got. And on the top left here, you'll see shop. So we'll click on that and it'll take you through to various products that they do. We're going to scroll down to the uh, other products, to the one that we have. You just click all products and it takes you to some other products. And then on the second page is the tracker that we have. Now this war it was brand new, £275, that's for the tracker. And uh, the, uh, the subscription, the subscription works out at £4.58 a month which is £55 a year, although you've got the initial outlays, uh, and that's for, um, obviously, for five years. So we'll go back to the main page and under the subscriptions. This is if you've already got one. There's uh, 60 months there, 
which works out at uh, £360, that's £6 a month, and that works out at £72 a year. Um, the, buying the full package, buying it all complete, is, is obviously cheaper. Um, but like I say, the battery will last on these new ones up to 15 years, so you can change it again from vehicle to vehicle. So that's possibly a, a really good option if you want to change your caravan. So you go back to the main page, you've got a help, a support, and that's got lots of good, useful information on there, how to set it up. Uh, there's various videos on how to use it. It shows you how to use the mobile app, and uh, the, the, it just tells you all about it. The, you can use it online or you can use it on your phone. It's very simple to use. You can track your vehicle. Just coming up, we've got a picture there. That's our caravan storage, and you can see I've got an icon there which you can change. Have a caravan. So that's the costings of it. If you look at it, uh, it's actually cheaper than uh, the manufacturer's 51. If you look over it at a longer period of time, and you have got that advantage of being able to move it from caravan to caravan in case you change, or if you uh, decide to change to a motorhome. One of the other disadvantages, which I forgot to mention, is I contacted my insurance company, Shield Insurance, and they don't actually recognise the uh, the Dan Tracker as a registered um, discount. So um, it doesn't get and it's not registered with some some insurers um, the, the discount that you get I mean I don't know is it worth it um, on an older caravan um, will you get much of a discount I don't know um, so that's an alternative for like I say for us that's the tracker that we're going to be using it's just a peace of mind uh, in order to keep an eye on where your caravan is and keep away those nasty thieves so I hope that's been of use as I said I'm not being uh, paid or anything like that for this video it's just something I thought that that you might find useful so thank you for watching and uh, i will see you hopefully soon take care bye bye